The taboo which you can see behind us is best new high performance SLE. Myself and Jordi do the core development and testing of the kites for best kite body. And we have spent the last 14 months working on and refining this kite. When making a new kite, we start with the initial concept and the product brief. From here we go through the different stages and the development uh, of the geometry, the aerodynamics and we select the material. Then step by step we refine the prototypes and bridle con configurations in the different sizes. Uh, it involves a lot of testing in different conditions and uh, it's really important to select the correct material as well. To get the best conditions to test the kites, we travel to a variety of locations around the world uh, where we also meet up with our team riders uh, who help us give us feedback on the kites. So for example in South Africa we meet up with Miguel who was testing the unhook performance of the kites and uh, the new score abilities. And uh, Christine was for example focusing on providing feedback for racing. What makes the taboo unique is it has a different DNA in different sizes. By DNA, we mean the geometry of the kite, the bridle configuration, the strut layout and the material selection. It's basically the blueprint for the kite. In the taboo, we realized that uh, to get the highest performing kite in each individual size, it would be uh, necessary to make each model slightly different, uh, since the model ranges from 4 meters to 17 meters. The motive for this is that we analyze what people use their kites for. The style of riding and conditions is affect what they want from a kite. For example, someone using a 17 meter needs a kite that can perform well in light wind conditions. And so the construction and design needs to be optimized to do this well. However, someone using a 7 meter for wave riding needs it to be more robust and withstand getting rolled in the wave. We were really looking for the highest performing SLE kite in each size. In the smaller sizes it's designed as an unhooked new school kite and wave kite. However in the larger sizes it's much more aimed to get the best light wind performance and be suitable to use in race. Yeah. This is what we call right optimized geometry. The taboo has different geometry and different aspect ratios and material selection and even strut counts throughout the range. The taboo is designed for the more experienced rider and so it was important to have a large number of sizes to allow people to build their ideal quiver and to choose the perfect size for their conditions. The small sizes of the taboo are the 4, 5.5, 7, 8 and 9 meter. They have been specially designed for unhooked new school and wave riding. We've added some extra dacron in the trailing edge and uh, reduce the aspect ratio compared to the other sizes just to make it even more stable in strong winds. The 10, 12 and 14 meters have a slightly lighter construction than the small sizes. The special aim is to have a balanced bar pressure and a fast turning. In the larger sizes, which are 15 and 17 square meters, our aim was light wind performance. In order to achieve that, we reduced the strut layout to five struts only, increased the aspect ratio and put more sweep in the wingtips. This makes this kite ideal for light wind and racing. I hope you enjoy riding the new kites and the taboos will be available in shops and on your beach for testing in the middle of September.